Hello everyone and welcome to LearnTag. In this video I'll show to you guys how you can fix the HID compliant touchscreen missing on Windows 10 and Windows 11. The steps are pretty much the same. So what we are talking about, let's open the device manager. So by just clicking here at search and type in device manager, you will be able to open the device manager which is already open in my case. And then over here you go over human interface devices and here normally should show the HID compliant touchscreen which should be enabled in case that you want it enabled or disabled if you have that disabled. But in my case it's not showing. There could be many reasons why it's not showing but we're gonna walk you through all the steps what you have to do in order to enable it or to show it on human interface devices. So the first thing that you have to do is you go over actions here and then you click over scan for hardware changes just to check if the device is already there or the driver is already there but it's not showing under human interface devices. We don't have any change so we move to the next step. The next step is view. So we click over view here and then we choose show hidden devices and then we'll walk through and see if the device is showing now under human interface devices. If this didn't fix neither, then we go to the next step, which is to open the CMD. This is the most powerful method or the most powerful way how to fix this kind of issue with the HID compliant touchscreen. So we go at search and we open CMD, we just type CMD and then once you see the CMD you click with the right of the mouse and you open it as administrator, so run as administrator. Alright, so after you have opened the CMD you basically have to write this command which is over here. I will copy this and put it on the description below so you just can copy and paste it on your CMD. So you just type this command and you press enter and then it should open the troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems. This will help to identify or show the drivers that are hidden or not showing properly on your device manager. So we click over next and this will detect all the problems that you may have related with the hardware and devices. All right, so hardware and devices is recommending me to restart the PC to finish installing drivers and updates. I believe in your case could be something else, but whatever is shown here at the troubleshooting, you just apply that fix or continue troubleshooting without applying this fix if you are not sure if this is the correct fix. But I believe in my case, this is the case. So I'm just gonna click apply this fix in order to fix this problem with the drivers. After you have done this method, and again, it's not fixed the problem, then you have the next method how to fix it. So basically, usually you have done the updates of your computer, but it's worth it to check once again. So we check for updates, so we click add the search and we type check for updates and then it will redirect you directly on the windows updates so check for updates make sure that you have the latest updates over here but it's also important to click over advanced options and over here to go over optional updates and here you check if there is any optional updates which mainly are related with the drivers which are there. In my case I just have to do a restart of the PCs in order to install those updates and those drivers but as I said don't forget to check advanced options. So these were the main reasons why this driver may not be showing there or it's hidden and at the end, after you have applied all this, make a restart of the PC and check if it's there. And if it's not there again, most probably you don't even have a touchscreen driver or you don't have a touchscreen in order to... That's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you like this video and please consider subscribing to our channel. All the best. Thank you.